So in here we have our B43G Onan opposed two cylinder engine. Uh, it's all ready to start up. I uh, didn't paint the shrouds, but all the internal components of the engine are painted a nice uh, high heat black. So uh, it looks real good without the shrouds. And I guess because my buyer does not want the shrouds, I didn't worry about it. It's more for airflow right now. I'll remove them and uh, set them off to the side for uh, maybe another build or perhaps I do have some more engines back there that could use these shrouds. I do not have uh, any more of these side plates. So everything's good to go. Carburetor's adjusted, throttle with fuel, points got set. Uh, it turns over pretty easily, nothing too uh, too advanced, you know, when it comes comes to setting one of these engines up. So, you know, we have the voltage regulator sitting out here. I don't have it tucked tucked down inside of this yet. Uh, I kind of kept it here just in case I need another way to kill the engine, pulling the positive cable, but uh, it did seem to turn off with this. It needs a battery to kind of support it right now. Um, once it's in a tractor, I'm sure it'll be fine when you're running the throttle up and everything. And uh, it does stay charged pretty well whenever it's idling on its own. So we've got our ground hooked up here. I'm uh, jumping it from the wagon because I have no other support system here to do that with. The cranking amps will be fine for this purpose. So we're going to go ahead and start it up just so I can show the buyer as well as you all how the engine is uh, doing. You know, I, I will probably list this on eBay um, for somewhere between seven and eight. These units typically go typically go for a thousand. This is rebuilt completely. You know, cylinders, cam taken out, uh, crank taken out. You know, cleaned up. Made sure there's no uh, no debris inside. No sh uh, metal shavings. All the teeth on the gears look good. You'll see those in other photos later on. You know, it's a good unit, and uh, it's got a lot of components that are pretty unused, and they didn't have a lot of wear and tear. So we got oil in it as well, so we're not doing anything too dangerous. Well, not dangerous necessarily, but risky. Uh, we have one new spark plug wire. We have one older one here that uh, they're fine, but that's one of the only components that I kind of left unrefurbished besides, of course, the plating. Um, so let's go ahead and get a start. And uh, I have all the points gap uncovered because I was doing some mild adjustments uh, while it was running to see, out of curiosity, how smooth it would be if other things were changed. Uh, let me go ahead and use this, and I'm just going to tap the back of the starter. I don't have that wire. I don't have a heavy enough gauge, but whoever buys the engine will be able to just drop it in and use the existing wiring uh, for the most part. So let's go ahead and make sure we're primed on fuel. So all I'm just going to do is go and lift the lift the canister up a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. There's fuel in the bowl. It'll start sucking through. Excellent. And we're going to start her right up.
And so this is in place of the battery ground, obviously. So with the battery here, of course, you'd be fine. Um, you know, one of the last Onans I did have, and uh, the, it has orange uh, heads on it because that's kind of, I, uh, you know, didn't know uh, you needed to be a purist for these. <laughs> and I'm just joking around, but it was pretty cool looking like engine with the flywheel shroud painted uh, orange. Not, not this shroud, but the inner one. Uh, you know, when I disconnected that one, the stator would keep the engine running alone. Uh, I may go ahead and remove the stator on this one. I think it's probably fine. It is generating a little power because it was fine, but that could still be just the charge. So, you know, I don't know. My shop's kind of a disaster. I'm still in school, so I only have one, one car. So I may take this stator and uh, drop it in the engine and maybe see if that is an issue. Uh, but for now, we're going to wait. We'll go ahead and list the motor up there and get a bit out for this engine. Um, you know, when I created this last one up and uh, mailed it up to New York, uh, it was $160 shipping because it's just, it's a beefy engine. And, you know, this one will be a little more because I have a couple more components on it than I did on the last one, uh, the exhaust system, or the muffler itself. And, uh, well, I mean, for the most part, that's about the same. The crank on this one's a little heavier, so it uh, turns out the last one I sold, well, believe it or not, this is 20 horsepower, right? The one I sold last, it had a, a smaller flywheel, and you can go to my other video and take a look at it, and I'll show you this flywheel wherever it may be. Uh, actually, it's over here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Those are the exhaust shrouds. So, this right here is the other flywheel. And as you can tell, this flywheel is much smaller than the flywheel on this one. And I couldn't figure out why. I couldn't figure out why this was so light. It was too light for me to turn the engine over. So, well, so here's what happened. I did a little more searching, and there was a very obscure own an engine and uh, that own an engine actually had a crank the uh this shaft here was much smaller so this is an inch and a quarter the standard b40g size the size lower than this is it was about three quarters of an inch to an inch and what that was and the thing was this had a shaft on it the other engine was an aircraft engine so onan built aircraft engines specifically for a little kit aircraft a pretty interesting looking design but a lightweight aircraft that didn't require a lot of power and what you would do is you had your flywheel on this side you know just like you would a normal own an engine big enough for the stator charge so that sat on there and the other side was the propeller and you would start the engine by pulling on the propeller. So there's no starter needed. And without that flywheel on that we have on this one and the lighter flywheel, that saved you a lot of weight. And then you had most of your flywheel weight in the propeller. Uh, well, sold that engine. This is the new unit and we're going to be listening on eBay shortly. Thank you guys for watching and have a great night.